God asked the question of the first brother that was born who killed his 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 brother out of jealousy or you know because he didn't because God didn't like his offering because he didn't give God his best you know uh, Cain killed Abel because he became jealous well you know God asked him a question he said you know he asked him well Cain asked God a question and he asked him am I my brother's keeper well the answer to that is yes I am you know we have it's amazing how we can live next door to each other we go to work together we go to school play all these different things you know we do all these things together but yet people are yet so far apart you can live right next door to your neighbor and not know that they're going through things and then but you don't have enough relationship with them to come and ask you you know for a loaf of bread or you know hey uh, you can't even you know it was in in times past you know people would share because they were community they were real neighbors they would feed each other's children they would feed each other's families they didn't you know let each other go lacking if there was something that one had that the other had that they would share it you know that they had you know they would share you know if they needed a ride or if they needed gas or you know whatever the situation may be they would share those things you know and it seems like today we have more and we don't look on our brother you know I you know it's it's amazing how you could talk to someone and and you could ask them hey you know how are you and you know people we, we quick we're so quick you know to allow pride to kick in our little little minds and our little hearts our little selfish beings and oh i'm good you know in, in, in so many times we're just lying we're just flat out lying and you're not good and even if you are good you know the point is you know if if you're good then help somebody else to be good don't just be good on your own too, too many of us especially and i'm talking to everybody believers non-believers it's amazing how we can say we love you know god and we say we love, you know, our family. We love our fellow man, but we don't have the proof. We don't have the evidence. And the world is looking at us and saying, you know, hey, where's the evidence of this, of this love, this God that you say you love? And we, and 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 we have to have the evidence by the way that we love each other. How is it that I can be a believer, and I can't even receive instruction? I can't even receive help. I can't. I can't receive direction. I can't. You know, I can't help my fellow man. That's not the love of God. That's not how we operate. You know, if if I can't even receive something from you, that's not a good place to be in. And if I'm if I need help, and and you asking me, you know, you you providing, you can. I don't know what you have or what you don't have or what you can provide if I don't listen to you. If I don't uh, spend time with you, I don't have relationship with you. We don't talk. You know, we out we, we often talk and you know we come across each other and we ask, you know, hey, what do you do for a living? You know, we ask these things and but what do you do with that? You know, if you know, do you really want to know or you're just asking to compare your income to see if you're in a, if you're higher than me or lower than me or equal to me? What is it? Why are you asking these things? Are you asking because you want to network? Are you asking because you you care? Are you asking because you you have a better uh, job for me, a better opportunity, a better business a venture for me, or, or, or are you trying to? What, why are you asking these things? So when we're talking, what is what we should we should have conversations on purpose. We shouldn't just be talking just perhaps. We shouldn't do things just by chance. You know, it's not enough for me to be a multimillionaire and not and live next door to my neighbor, or or just be in the world and exist and not care if you have what you need yes okay so i worked hard for my money you know or what however i attained it whether i inherited whether i worked hard for it whether i created a business that that caused me to be wealthy it doesn't matter uh even if i make um uh six figure income or middle uh you know fifty thousand it doesn't matter you know it's it's sad when we go into our houses and we don't even care if our neighbor is okay we don't even we don't have we don't even care to build enough relationship to be close enough to one another to where we can say hey neighbor can i can i borrow some salt we don't we can't even forget about asking hey can you help me with my light bill this month we can't even have enough relationship in a lot of places in, in most places in in any neighborhood uh to even say hey can i you know i i'm a little short this month you know um 
I, I, you know, I don't blow my money, but you know, hey, I'm a little short. I need to pay my light bill, or I need some gas in my car, whatever. We don't have. We have to have better relationships with one another to where we're actually a family. We're actually a community. Most of us don't live next door to our moms and dads and brothers and sisters. So our family is our our actual whoever we go to church with, whoever we go to work with, our neighbors. That's our family because we don't live next door to the people that we're blood related to. Blood, does, blood doesn't make you family. Love makes you family. And if we don't get it together as people, we watch people fall apart and they're right before our eyes. We watch people on the news and we and something happens. Somebody, you know, may, let's say someone kills their family and kills themselves. And we say, oh, he was such a nice guy or she was such a nice woman or they were such a nice kid. I didn't know anything. Yeah, you didn't know anything was going on because you don't talk to each other. You're not, you're not really caring about each other. We go out to our mailboxes. We smile at each other. And we pretend everything is okay. Hey, hi. And you go back in the house. You got a stack of bills in your hand that you can't pay. And you don't even have enough relationship with a friend to be able to say, hey, you know what? I could use a little help. Or you don't even have the discernment or care if you do have money to say, you know what? God, I heard you tell me that. I heard you say pay my I heard you tell me to pay my neighbor's mortgage this month. That will help them get ahead, get back on track. I, I heard you tell me uh, pay my neighbor's daycare for this month or I heard you tell me to buy this lady's groceries in the in the groceries line. I'll do that. You know, anything we we have to have a sense of community. We have to have the love of God in our hearts to be to look upon each other. We are our brother's keeper. And if God has blessed you, he's blessed you not to to say hey, I have such and such. He's blessed you to be a blessing. Let us not be selfish in our doing. Let us love one another the way that God loves us. God loves you. God's excited about your future. God bless.